Hello everybody, I'm Abedin, I'm going to teach you Farsi and this is my second lesson, okay? Um, the first lesson in English was an introduction, but now I'm going to tell you, teach you a little bit more about how to write in Farsi and um, you know that the, the, the words in uh, Farsi and Arabic they are, the rule is a little bit different from the European languages like English or French or, uh, Latin or Italian or, or German, okay? What's the rule? The rule is that you start from right to left, but um, for some letters, you, can, you have to join all the letters from right to left. For some letters, for some letters, you cannot continue joining. When you come to these letters, you have to stop. You have to take off your pen and start again. Like you're starting a new word, but it's not a new word. Okay, for example, in the European language, um, the word salam, which is hello, um, Salam. For the European language, these might look like two words, but it's not, it's one word, because of this space. Because we stopped here, and then we started here. So what's the rule? We have sin here, which is S. We have L here. And we have Aleph, A. And then when it comes to Aleph, then we stop. And then we start again. Okay? So what are, what are these letters? It's easy. Okay? I'll tell you all these letters. The first one that you cannot join from left. Okay, you can join from right. All of them you can join from the right. You come from the right, you right. Okay, when you come to Aleph, you stop. That's the first letter. The second letter is D. Doll. Doll. What doll? I call. That's the pronunciation. And of course, Zol. Which is Z. So this is D. This would be A. D, Z. Dal, Zol. And um, this is the second group, okay? You know that they are, they look the same, they are the same. The only difference is this dot at the top of D, it becomes Z. And then we have R, R, Z, which is again Z, and J, J, okay? So, Re, Z, J, with a dot and three dots at the, top, at the top of the letter, Re, we make it, we turn it into Z, um, Z or J, okay? Aleph, Do, Zol, Re, Z, J. So, these letters, are letters that we cannot join them. We, when we come to them, we have to stop and start again. Okay? Why? There's a good reason for it. It's not a, a rule that you cannot understand, that, that it's difficult to understand. It's a rule that you can understand. Because if I try to join here, for example, I have after D, I have an Aleph. If, if I'm trying to put here, 
then it becomes another letter. If I put here, it's not a zal anymore, it's n. Okay, it's n. So these letters have got to, they don't end the word. Okay, they don't end the word, but we start again. Okay, now let me give you an example. The word smoke. is dud. By the way, vov is another one. So it's d, r, d, z, r, z, g, an, v. Okay? So this is d, this is v, or u, and this is d. So become to, to write smoke, okay, not like smoking, smoke, okay, um, I need a doll, V, or Vov, Vov, and doll again. I cannot join after that. When I write D, it's got to be alone, then I start again. And then after Vov, I start again. So it's Dud, Dud. V, this letter, sometimes it's U, sometimes it's V, okay? When it's alone, a word, it means and, like, like the word manu, manbato. Man, va, to, I, and you. Okay? Or, so it's I, and you. But this you is singular you, not you, to, okay? Or, to, woman, to, va, Okay, so this is Mim, Nun, M, N, with A at the, uh, at the top, Ma, Man, Va, and Tu, Man, Va, Tu, okay, so Let's write together the word man. M. N. Mim. Nun. Mim. Nun. Okay? I have the letter M. Okay? So I'm going to start to write I, which is man. This is M. I don't need this part. I can join. Unless it's at the end of a, a word. Okay? I'll give you an example. M, Mim, and N. And that's A. Man. Man. Okay? It's easy. Uh, with me. So it's I and me at the same time. So with me. Okay? Ba 
mano. Ball. <clears throat> I need a B. This is B. Ball. And I need an Aleph. I need an Aleph, so I just drop this. Sorry. Ball. With. Man. Ball man. With me. Ball two. Ball two. Ball man. Ball two. Okay? That's how we write. Um, As I'm in the kitchen today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the kitchen. Um, I'll start with the word up. Up, which is water. Okay? Okay. Aleph and this symbol at the top. I don't know how to say it. Okay, this symbol at the top top. Usually we use it when we have when we want to say all oh, at the beginning of a uh, word, like all oh, all. Oh. Okay. Uh, another word is Osh, osh, soup. I don't know if I can say if you can say soup for osh, but let's suppose it's soup because we have the word soup. Okay. What's the difference? I don't know. Okay? I don't know the difference between soup and hush. I think soup is French and also uh, English. Probably French or English at the same time. I don't know. And we have hush. Hush. Okay? So what are the letters that I use here? Uh, soup, we have seen, we have seen it before, okay, I've seen, we've seen this word, like salam, okay, but osh, so we have sin and shin, so this is s, and SH. The name of the letter in Farsi is SIN, like I've seen you. Okay? And this is SHIN. SHIN. Okay? SIN, SHIN. Okay? So to write OSH, OSH, I need this O. I left with this symbol at the top at the top. Okay? Then is there another word with this? Yes. A simple word that we use a lot, and that is um on on means that. Like on mart. On. 
آن مرد 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 ایز من وقت من وقت من وقت من آن مرد آن مرد اکی ام ری و that symbol at the at the top which is a like a mart okay so this would be mart okay let's try again Osh on. Of Osh on. The words are Aleph. B. C. An. No. Okay. O. B. C. Shin Nun Okay O Osh On Okay Now Now that we Now B Or B You can learn Three more letters Look, it's the same letter. B, T, B, T, K, C. Okay? B, T, K, C. Okay? This letter, C, is mostly Arabic. It's mostly Arabic. For example, we say source. is one third source or one trimester something like that every three, three months okay so of osh on sin shi now that we know osh we can I can tell you about another word which is otash Fire, fire. All touch. All touch. Perhaps. Atash, because I don't want you to read it as Atash, Atash, Atash is another word. Atash means fire. So it's A-T, okay, I won't close it because I need Another letter, which is Shin. Otash. So we say, Otash. Water and fire. Oh. 
of the attached water and fire. Okay? Of the attached. But we don't say of the attached, we say obu attached. Obu u. We join. We join. Obu attached. Okay? So we know B, T, P, C. For the moment, we're not going to use this very much, okay? Maybe later. So, Mark. Man, Zan, woman. Man, singular. Zan. Okay, man, woman. Okay, so we have Mar, M, Bre, D. Okay, so we do M, we join R, V. It looks like a sword. This looks like a sword. And um, this for the A. And um, this is D. Same thing with woman. We have V. Well, we have V and Z. Three letters that look like sword. Okay. is R, Z again, and J, 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 like J in, uh, in French, je, je, je parle, je parle, je peux parler, whatever, okay, je ne sais pas, or in English also, pleasure, measure, okay, so this is J, okay, so then, then, woman, it's ze, noon, okay, and with that at the top, okay? On that mart on mart that man on Zan that woman on mart on mart. All mad, all mad came. That man came, or that man arrived. Okay, all mad. The past of coming, the past of to come, to arrive. Okay, all mad, all mad. Okay, so I was going to say something about the kitchen. I said, oh sh. Okay, and then we have Osh has. Sorry. Cook. Osh has. Somebody who cooks. Osh. Okay, because Paz. comes from cooking, okay? So, Osh Paz is somebody who cooks Osh. Probably in the past, the only thing they knew 
was to cook posh. Okay, so uh, that's posh is and the cook, and then we have posh pas House of the cook. House of the cook. Okay, I'm going to talk more about this in in other lessons. Okay, in future. Omar Omar. Okay. Now we have Om, Mar, and Omar. Um, with these letters that we already know, which are Aleph, B, P, T, Nun, Vav, and Mim. We can write some other things. Andal and re and z. These are the letters that we have learned so far. Alif, B, P, T, Nun, Vav, Mim, Dal, Re, Z. And sin. Shin. Okay. Now we can write. What can we write with these words? With these letters. We can write bald. Bond, which is wind. Boron. Ring. Look, I started with a B. Then I leave, then I have to stop, start again, re, then I have to stop, I leave again, and nun, so baran, 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 okay? So, on my domat. I'm going to write something that children study at the first year of their school, primary school. On mar daman. On mar dar baron amat. On my dar baron amat. Okay? Well, we know baron, which is um, rain. Dar. What is dar? Dar can be door. Or it can be in. That man came in. The, no, that man came in the rain. Okay, that man came or right, came in the rain. In okay, on mark that baron Um, another word that children study is.
on my ball with a horse that bought on Omar. That man came with a horse in the rain. Okay? Well, I think that's it uh, for today. Okay? So, in this lesson, we learned some new words like of, on, osh, otash, as, which is a horse, uh, omad, um, man, to, okay? I'll be making a new video in English every week, okay? I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please like my video, subscribe to my channel uh, for you to learn Farsi or Persian. Thank you.